Welcome to Formosa Dream Chasers. We're your hosts, Mary Ann and Ching En. Please join us as we explore the journeys amazing people take in pursuit of their dreams. And get insights from their experiences. Let's hit the road and get started. Hey, welcome back to Formosa Dream Chasers. In this episode, Mr. Chung Tam not only gives his observations about the theater production industry in Taiwan, but also share his philosophy, which he uses as a guiding principle in his life. What are your observations or insights about Taiwan's performance or theater uh, or art scene? Uh, my observation mm. from my background from yes. India, right? Taiwan, the art, the atmosphere is a kind of industry like we make the product and have to find a suitable audience or the suitable customer so most of the company here is making product that is very different from my background in india india is the art is not about the product it's about mm -hmm. the participation and it's about the celebration and the important thing is not the product itself it's about the activities itself the participation and the communication and the celebration is more important than the product itself. So in Taiwan, you would say it's more commercial. Yes, the, it's about the entertainment. It means yes. the audience have to select and buy which product they want. Mm -hmm. And the creator also have to be very clear in their mind what the product I should create so can be sold it. Mm -hmm. So... It is not about the who who is right or wrong. Yes, it's about mm -hmm. the different the different culture or yes. different society developed yeah. in this way. Uh, so I think that in India also have that negative side because the industry is not developing because people are not ready to buy the tickets. But in Taiwan is because this buying selling is become too strong. That's why the public the participation and the art I mean a very artificial lead mm -hmm. is not happening as a you know naturally uh, developing with the public together that is mm -hmm. not happening so have to find the balance so maybe that can be a good policy <laughs> recommendation for our government <laughs> like to think about so w which path that yeah. our theater yeah. should take in the yeah. future yeah yeah i would agree the other question i had was um Given your long and extensive career, I'm sure you've had many memorable experiences mm -hmm. um, from your journey. Would you mind sharing a significant memory that you feel shifted your um, perspective or your life? I want to share one very strange thing happened in my life. It's, let's say in 2003 or four. at the time I, I was in India, I was doing some of the television program. And running here and there and so busy and the, my schedule was so hectic that I cannot rest and I'm so tired that I don't feel any meaning of whatever I'm doing just meaningless and I cannot give up because I have to be do it so I so frustrated and almost you know went to the you know, a kind of depression but one day suddenly uh, during the, the suit I just fall in f fall in sleep but in in the dream a person appears and they said, you can tolerate the hunger, you can wait, and you can learn. He repeat these three sentences three times, and suddenly this appear, and I wake up. I just, you know, freeze and try to figure it out what is this, what he want to say, what is the meaning of all these things. Then I come back and just cannot find out everything. But two years later, when I read a book, a novel, called Siddhartha and this three sentence is inside that novel oh wow uh, then that day I barely really practice this philosophy about don't afraid of hunger once you are afraid of hunger you will you know will force to do many things to earn mm -hmm. and uh, in the dead television shooting I'm running here here everything is busy is because I afraid that I will not get this chance anymore that's why I am doing all the unwanted things so wait until the times come and the right things comes to you don't be afraid to wait and the third is that just doesn't matter anything you don't familiar doesn't matter just learn you can learn mm -hmm. so these three things become so important in my life and it changed a lot 
So I think this is, I think, very strange thing, but that is the, I think, that give a big impact on me. And still, I am practicing and try to practice uh, these three things in my life. From that moment, I strongly believe that there is some extra, you know, just metaphysical world is exist. We mm. cannot perceive it, but mm. somewhere have his own, you know, war. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, from that moment, I start to, you know, believe that. Become yeah. a little bit a little more bit spiritual. Yes, yeah. more spiritual, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Uh, I really love that message. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, what's a day like for a theater a performer? Let's say uh, we, uh, many young people in, in this, the field of the art or we call it entertainment, right? We only see the glamour side, but the glamour side come with a very hard work. You have to work very hard. You have to be committed whatever you are doing. And uh, it is your life, not passing time. Because whatever we are doing now is part of my life. It means you are spending the time to this work. It means you are spending your life here. So that's why we have to be taken very seriously and the very committed whatever we are doing. So I, for me, I never separate my life and my art. So improving my art, it means improving my life. So I have to be find many resources. So at least I have to be read two to three hours, any book every day. Just I commit that minimum, then observe the other people. Because we are very easily, you know, just stay in our own small world. So interacting with the people and understand the other people. And that's also help my profession. My life is very simple. I regularly do the meditation and read some books and eat the simple foods. Uh, because when you eat a little bit heavier, mm. you feel, you know, uncomfortable, intense, no, intense uh-huh. and become lazy, want to sleep. What advice would you give to people who want to follow in your footsteps or those who are interested in working in the entertainment uh, industry? So this is a profession. Yes. Profession is not only to earn money. Mm. Profession, your profession should allow you to improve your life. Something you can earn a lot of money but cannot improve your life, you cannot enjoy it. Then is, I think, that useless. According to my understanding is I will not do that kind of profession. If I choose a profession, it means that profession will help me to improve my understanding of life. For that, you have to be very serious about whatever you are doing. And you have to work hard. Without hard, hard work, you cannot achieve anything. You only see the people, famous people, and you want to become that. But you are not seeing that how much work they do behind, you know, all these things. And be creative. Be creative, it means ready to do something outside your convenient comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, only then you can be creative. Uh, all these things keep the mind and don't expect a final result if you set up the final respect or i will be like this it will only give you the upset because you cannot predict the future you cannot decide the future you only can focus whatever you are doing and whatever the result comes except with smile doesn't matter it's the result yeah. is is uh, the way you expect or not whatever the results come just accept with smile thank you so much for sharing that because i feel um, they're very good advice that can guide people. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. This is what I want to practice myself. Sometimes mm. we are human beings, we cannot do it. But mm. remind ourselves again and again, uh, the only the thing is we try our best. Yes. And whatever the mistake we did, try to recorrect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so far, do you have your favorite uh, production? Oh, uh my favorite production, because all are, you know, my old product is very dear to me. That leads to the latest production that you have? Uh, yes. Number. It's the cleaning, uh, yes, cleaning journal number dot, 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 dot. Right. <laughs> so, the yes, uh, this is uh, going to perform in July uh, this year. This play is about the old lonely person in Taiwan now the old age the problem is become uh, increasing uh, and more and more you know societies become the old and they sometimes they are lonely they uh, they have no any families to take care of them 
Then others, another one is the the people who have the what we call the Alzheimer's. Or, huh? yeah. So they are the the understanding. Their mind is little bit slow, and yes. they are the tempo is slow. So in the society, you know, sometimes we don't accept them. They are very difficult to find the jobs, and they also have the struggle of the what is their you know existence value in this society. So I just come up the idea how I can share this problem that one day we all going to be old. Mm. And if some one is beside us to take care, then what? Like this, I uh, in this is a story about this kind of the people the one the cleaning company they or they you know met these two persons. Uh, they take care of each other. And the story is about the how we can you know as empathy towards the the old age people and the people who are not you know. Not so normal. Mm. So how they can be, you know, survive, and we can give value, you know, as an individual, everyone. So what is their position in the society? Uh, how can we get take care of them as a whole society? This mm-hmm. is about the story about this mm-hmm. play. Mm-hmm. And I read that this was actually adapted from a true story. Yes, we uh, visit the all this the people, and we collected the story from their life. Uh, is the real story not in the ter- form of in the terms of the one person stories all these couples the story we combine together and to make the stories the um, performance date is in July 6 and July 6 and, and 7 and ticket prices are 500 NT yes yes mm. it will only show in Miaoli uh, yes in Miaoli for this year but we are planning to travel and the whole mm-hmm. Taiwan mm-hmm. next year. Can we invite you again <laughs> before you start your traveling to definitely talk about be, it? I definitely, it would be my pleasure that just to you know just share all this information through your platform. Did, yes, did, please yeah. come back. Uh, okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed talking to you today. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to share? I think that we already talk a lot yeah. and we already discuss everything. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, uh, Mr. Jayantha Chongtam, uh, for sharing your journey, for sharing your insights. But more than that, for me personally, thank you so much for being so open and willing to guide. I really, I, I cannot express in words how grateful I am for this opportunity to talk to you and learn from you. Thank so, you. Thank you, both of you. I think that is my pleasure and, uh, you know, to share very seldom i have the chance to speak because the english is not the, my first language so always mm. have you know kind of fear in my mind that oh i i'm going to share something in english but it's okay you two of you just openly accept everything so i just freely i share everything uh, thank you very much uh, thank you, thank you. Um, i really hope we get to see you again next time <laughs> sure <laughs> thank you. i did sure. learn a lot from what you share yeah uh, thank, thank you. you thank you we'll see thank you next you. time uh, bye bye again this is ching and mary ann see, see you guys, guys next, next sunday, sunday. bye, bye. Podcast, Google Podcast, Sound On Podcast, Spotify. You name it, we're on it. You can find selected shows produced by RTI's English team on different streaming services. All you have to do is search for the show or type RTI. Find an episode you find interesting, hit play, and you'll learn more about Taiwan and its people. sometimes prefer to watch the news instead of read about it? Check out the RTI English YouTube channel where we post daily videos that cover everything from politics to cultural events and other breaking news. Feel free to share your feedback and thoughts in the video comments or write to us at our email, english at rti.org.tw.